getting ready for Christmas to explode in here. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me on a get ready for the holidays with me vlog. And I'm starting off with getting this whole place Christmasified with all the Christmas decorations. Get cozy, grab a beverage, it's gonna be a good time. And I'm gonna start off by going on an adventure for a latte. Can't decorate without a latte in hand, don't be silly, come on. <laughs> latte has been acquired and I think it makes most sense to start with the tree. I don't really think there's anywhere else in the apartment that the tree makes sense to go. Like I guess I could put it here but I, I don't want to have my coat stand over there and I kind of like it by the TV. So I think that that's the move. overwhelmed by the quantity of things I now have to put away or decorate with. <laughs> so much stuff. This is why you have to look at what you have before you even think about shopping for anything more because this year the only thing I added were these white ceramic houses from Indigo that I showed in my vlog the other day. I thought you were talking to me. No, no, I'm talking to the vlog. <laughs> this is the only thing I got and thank goodness because I don't, I don't need any more decor. Like we're good. Uh, might reconsider a new tree topper though because I remember last year this didn't really pop as much as I would have liked to But that is it. That is all the things Okay, I'm done talking to the vlog now <laughs> You're like who is she talking to? I was like she... No, I'm not there <laughs> you, li honey. you like this? I love it. Tom, what do you think? Dad, do you like that? She usually puts that greenery by the windowsill, but it looks nice there. Huh. No, the answer's not sure. The reply yeah, should be sure magnificent. It's, not, uh, a great it's beautiful. Answer. It's, beautiful. it's stunning. It's Innovative. It's great. Not, yeah, sure. All I want is some validation that I'm making good decisions with my decorating opinion. Exactly. Is that too much to ask? Is that too much to ask? Last year, this was one of my favorite additions to my holiday decor because what I do is I open it up, I put my diffuser in it, and then when my diffuser is going, it looks like the, the, the steam, the diffusingness happens through the chimney and it looks like the chimney's going. It is so cute. I'm gonna put that on my windowsill. Another exciting development is this year. Hello. I decided to put my garland in the front entrance and I just hooked it up to an extension cord and I used a command strip to keep it against the, the unit here. Usually I have this garland on my windowsill over there, but I've done that for years now. This is my fourth Christmas in this apartment, so I wanted to spice it up and I think this is such a great way to do it. And then it adds some festiveness to the front entryway and gives that little, you know, moment. And then the Christmas tree can have its moment over here. So. Oh my gosh, I am so happy. And it is also beautiful lighting in here right now. Must continue to tackle. I got distracted with phone calls. Currently working on the sideboard here. And one of my decorating tips for the holidays is to pull out red, green, you know, festive colored books. So I already have like this Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales, which is a very beautiful book. I just recently got this new edition of Philosopher's Stone because all of the pages are illustrated and there's pop-ups. I also have my, I think this is the French version of Harry Potter. I'm just arranging them here. And then I've added my houses and I think that's like a cute little sideboard situation. Might play around with it some more, but I think for now, that is really cute with the tree right there. It's not too distracting with the TV because you gotta be careful. You don't want anything that's gonna actually block the TV. Very happy with that. The sun has been setting, so it's much darker now in here and just confirming like how much nicer it is to have Christmas decor because everything's like so warm and twinkly. I also just ordered food. So I'm having like a nice self-care night. 
which is what I like, the approach I like to take when I'm decorating. I want it to be fun and enjoyable. I'm gonna pop on a holiday movie in a few minutes. I have whipped out the, the naughty or nice holiday onesie. It's a little early, but we're doing it. Currently watching Holiday on Netflix, actually the second time I'm watching it. Uh, so cute if you haven't already seen it, but food has arrived. I ordered in, I got the Impossible Burger and some waffle fries. I know in the US, the Impossible Burger is very popular and comparable to the Beyond Burger, but I feel like I'm only now just starting to see the Impossible Burger here in Toronto more like available. It's usually if a restaurant has some sort of like fake meat, it's always Beyond Burger. And I love Beyond Burger, but this is like a nice little different taste. Love the variety, not healthy at all, but you know what? <laughs> Holidays, right? <laughs> I want every night to be like this. <laughs> I'm gonna start adding in my pics into the Christmas tree, which if you saw my holiday decorating video last year, then uh, you know these were a new addition last year. And honestly, they make a fake tree look just so much more spicy. I got these from Michaels. They have like little frosted tips, so it looks like snow. And then I also have some cranberry ones. There they are. So I'm gonna add these, and then we're gonna start the ornament section. Last year, if you remember, I had a lot of broken ornaments uh, as a result of storing all of my ornaments in a bag, and I learned from my mistake and found this storage organizer at Michael's last year. So all of my ornaments should be in good shape, but I wanted to show off some new ones that I got. First set of ornaments are these beautiful, beautiful wooden trees. I got this set from Indigo. Look at these little guys though, come on. I love them. And oh, that sound. It was so satisfying. Great purchase. From Home Sense, I also got these new glass ornaments. Oh, there's a reflection of the movie, but very pretty. And I got some more stuff at Indigo, which I will link below because they should still have these on their site. We've got a little tiny reindeer, a little fox, Santa and Mrs. Claus. What a cute arrangement. <laughs> Last but not least, a little owl. What a hoot. So not too many new additions. I really tried to hold myself back. I remember last year thinking that my tree definitely has room for more ornaments, but I wanna be very intentional with the things I do put on my tree because um, you know, these are gonna be ornaments that I have around for years and years and years and years. So I wanna make sure they're ones that I am obsessed with, that I can't get over how cute they are. Like, now it is time to do the ornament hanging. the ornament I always get the most excited to put on the tree. The tree is complete, it looks beautiful, and on the coffee table I have this little elf mug that I'm gonna fill with some chocolates. And two Christmas books I do plan on reading this year, The 12 Dates of Christmas by Jenny Bayliss and In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. So I'm actually gonna probably read both of these really soon, but I think they make for very festive decor pieces as well. Remote, bada boom. In my bedroom, I also used that command strip to hang this wreath again and added the felt garland from Indigo. And I've got a perfect view of the tree from my bed. So tuckered out now. From all the decorating, I'm looking forward to just relaxing on the couch, having those, those cookies that I have ready for me and getting a glass of eggnog ready to go. Got my cookies and I'm very curious to try out this almond nog. I've never tried it before, but I've heard good things. Dangerous game I'm playing right now. 
I just think it probably needs either rum or I think um, what they suggest using it in a latte would be really good. I don't know if I'm like loving it on its own, but very festive. <laughs> got my more festive pillow covers out and just to give them a freshening up I pulled out my fabric steamer and I'm gonna steam them uh, so that they look a little bit prettier and then once that's done I'll put them on the pillows I think I might keep that one cream just to give it a little bit of variety so I might not use all of these but this right here from Amazon has been one of my favorite purchases in 2020 I will have it linked below I decided only to change two of the pillows to green rather than using any of the red because these cream ones go obviously nicely with any color. And I feel like I've done the red a lot, so this is just a little bit of a more clean change. adventure mm. yeah this is my this is my vibe <laughs> I'm so happy that the apartment is in festive mode um, so I hope you enjoyed coming along with me as I holiday prepped if you didn't know I do plan on doing like a version of vlogmas I'm gonna be vlogging every day up until Christmas but I won't be posting a vlog every day I'll, I'll compile it into a weekly vlog so you'll get a weekly vlogmas vlog so make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when those videos go live let me know in the comment section down below when are you planning on putting up your christmas tree i know a lot of people in the u.s wait until after thanksgiving but here in canada we have thanksgiving early october so that season feels so like past um but i am curious to know do you have your tree up are you gonna put it up are you waiting until december tell me all the things and I'm gonna sip on my nog over here, get some work done, and enjoy some twinkle action in a few hours when the sun sets at like 4.30, 5 o'clock. So good. <laughs> hey friends, welcome to the channel. Um, today I will be showing you my Christmas tree. She's um, not doing her best, but also not doing her worst. Oh, I also need more. But, you know.